This spot has definitely not been worked before because I'm finding way more gold than I thought I would be finding. Good morning or good afternoon everyone. Welcome if you're new here, my name is Polly. Today is a hot summer day on Vancouver Island and me and Cody are gonna go sniping. I haven't been to this spot in over a year and a half so for sure there'll be gold waiting for us there. There should be. This tickles. What a beautiful place. <gasps> Look at that leaf. How majestic. Watch this. The tools we're using today is this pokey stick, good for scratching crevices. This other pokey stick, good for moving bigger rocks. The snuffer bottle, used to suck up candy. And of course, the GoPro to film the adventures under Wawa. And now we're ready, so we're switching to GoPro. Ah, there we go. I accidentally took Emily Rydell's left boot. So my left boot is actually still in Nome, Alaska. <laughs> Wee! The plus side to sniping in the summertime is that the water is so low you're able to reach the deeper crevices. The negative side, however, is how silty and dirty it becomes. <laughs> Here's our first piece of gold for the day. Now I'm accidentally shooting the GoPro in wide, so everything might just look a little bit smaller than usual. <laughs> I think I was pretty fortunate to find a pocket full of little pieces of gold, especially as my first spot that I went to. It's kind of hard to tell with the colors of these GoPros, but there's a lot of gold here. This is another reason why I just love this spot. Gold keeps showing up year after year. So I keep showing up. There's that little pocket. There must be like 15 little pieces in there and then two nice ones. It's these intersections of cracks right here that typically hold a lot of gold, especially the further you go down. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. I've been getting a lot of requests to make more underwater gold videos. If you wanna see more, let me know in the comments and hit that subscribe button. This stuff is called hard pack. It's gravel that's been sitting for so long that it almost turns into concrete. There'll be gold in it, but more importantly, there will be gold underneath it. I just saw another little guy hiding underneath the clay. Dude, I just found a nice little picker. It went up the snuffer, so it's not a nugget. Anytime you see lead, you wanna take that out of the river too. When you're working with clay underwater, it's important to be very patient because there's gonna be some times where you're just gonna wait at least four decades until the smoke clears. I'm gonna clean up all the overburden in the area to make room for more uh, crevicing because there's just too much material that's falling down into the crevice. Cody just found out a little piece of gold. That's a nice looking crevice. This spot has definitely not been worked before, and I know that because I'm finding way more gold than I thought I would be finding. Even though gold this size doesn't really add up to much, it is still super addictive to find gold in nature like this. If you've never been underwater gold hunting before, I highly recommend it. I 
How you doing? Ruin things. Ruin things? <laughs> Ruin things. <laughs> I had to open up my wetsuit so I could cool off. It's actually really, really warm here. Plus these eight mil wetsuits are ridiculously warm. People think that since I'm in Canada, it's really cold, but on Vancouver Island, we get really hot summers and oh, decent winters, but nothing too cold. If you ever want to get into sniping, get an eight mil semi-dry wetsuit. Shout out to Wilson's Diving, Victoria Jersey. I'm predicting there's gonna be a couple pieces of gold under this little rock here. Right here, we got a wild Cody croc waiting for the right time to snuffle the gold. Nice. <laughs> Keep swimming, swimming, swimming. I found this thin crack here, and after spending a lot of time trying to clear out the rocks, I found one little piece of candy. I just spotted a piece of gold that I didn't even see until that fog went away. Ooh, a piece of candy. It went up the snuffer, so it wasn't that big. Cody just found three pieces at the bottom of this little crevice. Suck it up, buddy. This little guy is stuck. <laughs> Way to go. I started to get really tired, but it's so hard to stop, especially when you keep finding more gold. After messing around for just a little bit longer, I decided, you know what? That's it for Polly. <sighs> so that's it for me. I'm already exhausted. It's only been a couple hours, but I think we did really well. So I'm gonna get out of my wetsuit and I'll take a look at the gold that we found. <sighs> so I'm out of the wetsuit now, obviously, and it is a really nice day, but it's even better because I found a lot more gold than I thought I would. So let's go have a look. First, let's check out Cody's pan. Ugh. Hey, my signature's on there. Huh. Oh, that's not bad. Look at that. Not tea bag. Not tea bag. I really like the gold here. It's always so yellow, nice and shiny. How much weight do you think that is? Enough to keep me going. Perfect. All right, now to the little pen. Don't be deceived, it's how you use it. All right, here we go. <laughs> Look at that. I got some lead pellets in there. It's always good to take those out of the river. And then you got the beautiful yellow candy. I'm gonna say that's probably, I'm usually wrong, four ounces? <laughs> no, honestly, probably about a gram and a half, maybe two grams, I don't know. So here's the gold all dried up. Doesn't look too bad. I'm actually really happy with that. I really, really do like this spot. Unfortunately, no big nuggets today, but maybe next time. Let's put it on the scale. Forty-five ounces on the nose. Wow, actually two grams on the nose. Very rare you get a solid number. Cool. So two grams of gold isn't bad. However, if you were to calculate that in dollar form, it's around 120 ish dollars. So luckily I don't do this for the gold value. However, I have found over a thousand dollars worth of gold before in a single day, but those days are kind of rare. Anyways, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, chances are you're going to enjoy what I've previously posted and what's coming in the future. So please don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button to follow my adventures even further. I'm also on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and Patreon if you guys want to see some exclusive content. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And until the next one, black screen with logo.